A Form 3 student at Tuyo Teach Secondary School in Baringo South was shot dead by suspected bandits in a cattle rustling incident in the area. The student, whose family is sheltering at Sinoni Primary School after they were displaced, was killed on his way home from school. Tension remains high even as residents questioned the security operation sanctioned by the government barely three months ago. Let's get more from our very own Hassan Mugambi. Bandits struck again at Sinoni area of Baringo County, this time round, taking the life of a Form 3 student at Tuyot Secondary School as he made his way home from school. <laughs> the incident sending shivers to the family of the 16-year-old who have not known peace after they were rendered IDPs. <laughs> Displaced by the wanton security situation in Baringo, they found solace at the Sinoni Primary School. Local leaders saying that the bandits are now targeting the vulnerable in the community to destabilize peace. Wanaona kwamba wakitishia wanafunzi itakuwa ni vikumu mashule kufunguliwa. Nafikiri njama ya hawa wakora sasa ni kufunga mashule na kuhakikisha ya kwamba hakuna mashule yenye inaendelea na masomo. But more worrying to residents here is the safety of their children who are KCPE candidates. Those displaced are also afraid of being asked to vacate the school where they are seeking refuge since it is one of the examination centers in the area. Mambo ya KCPE sa KCPE inaanza inaanza riasi lanza juma na tunaona mambo ya watu wetu itarepeka. Atujui usalama itakana maana gani. So tunaomba security ikuwakuje kwa wingi. The residents sought refuge in the school following an array of bandit attacks in the area. They are now calling on security forces to actualize the resolutions of a security meeting held at an Akuru hotel geared towards keeping them safe. Hassan Mugambe, Citizen TV.